Miss Thailand Black is like fully out. Yo, usually we just see her over here. Look at that. She is fully out and about. That is crazy. She is huge, you guys. Absolutely massive. And I have not seen her in ages. So, wow. Really glad to see her today. But yeah, this scorpion has been pretty weak for the past few months already because it's of old age. And he or she... I think it's a she actually. Guys, comment down below. You can tell if these things, these two things are long, then it's a male. If it's short, it's female. But yeah, this scorpion over here, I have to, I've had to feed him or her. Like for a couple months, I had to like tong feed because it couldn't catch its own food because of old age. And well, today is the day that goes it's gone back to heaven so yeah i'm not whoa it's definitely old age and this this one was actually rescued by my friend's friend he saw it crossing the road and he caught it and passed it to my friend which passed it over to me so yeah he found it crossing the road when it was already a fully grown adult like this if you guys remember when i first got it so yeah, these guys, I'm not exactly sure how long they live. I'll just put like a thingy up here. Yeah, that's how long they live. Yeah, I've been having this guy for quite a few years already. And who knows how long he has been living in the wild. So yeah, based on the behavior, even till the, the last, last week, I think. Yeah, the last week, he still ate a roach for me and just... This week, before he died, he just stopped eating and yeah, this is, yeah, that's that's the end of it. I know, for those who are wondering, yes, I do. I am aware that I have quite a few deaths like tarantulas on this channel and all. And that is because of, well, many different reasons. Some are old, some are with those like... You know, I have tarantulas that had tumors and stuff. Yeah, it's been quite a rough, <laughs> a rough time for me when it comes to keeping these things. But eventually everything dies, right? Nothing's going to live forever. Even tortoises, they live over a hundred years and then they eventually die. But this scorpion over here, I can guarantee you that it is a really, really, really old specimen. And yeah that's it goodbye to it and right before like a couple of weeks yeah a couple of weeks before this death it could not like lift up its tail anymore the tail was pretty much like flat down like this so i've always had to like tongue feed him i had to even encourage him to eat like take the dubia put it at the at the uh, pincers and just wiggle it around and wait for it to capture it by itself but um yeah, that's pretty much it. I had to really help him to eat, otherwise he would have died of starvation. But eventually, he still passes away. Unfortunate, but like I said, everything dies and rest in peace, buddy. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this one. I'll probably just bury it because I don't have a, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to like preserve it or anything. I don't even have a container to preserve it. And yeah, let's smell it. Yeah, it's freshly, freshly dyed. So sorry if my grammar is a little bit off in this video. But yeah, it's currently about 3 a.m. right now. I don't know why I'm always coming to this room at 3 a.m. But yeah, I just came to check on this guy because yesterday I saw that this guy was very, very like lethargic and just on its deathbed. And today I checked on him and yeah, true enough, it's gone. Hmm. So yeah guys, just a little update. I know it's not a good update and I've had like past deaths and all. But on the bright side, I still have all of these guys who are still alive and kicking. And hopefully, they will be alive and kicking for a very, very long time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one and stay safe.